Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video we have learned script versus script means the script component versus script tag. In this video number 28, we are going to learn most important part of any website is called passing data from one page to another. So that's we are going to learn in next years. So here we are going to learn what is link component, how to open route from route in next years. That means how to navigate from one route to another route, how we can go from one page to another page in next years website that we are going to learn and how we can pass data also with that route that we are also going to learn. After that, we are going to learn how to read the same data at server side component or at client side component. Remember that in next years, we have two types of component or two types of routes also. So if we are sending a data to server side routes, then how we can read that data or if we are using the client side component for reading a data, then how we can read that data on that component or that route also that we are going to learn or understand in this video. If you like my content, please do subscribe. Now you see the next how to do that. So we go to the coding here. Now I create a route here. Two routes I have to create one for displaying a link and second for display the data. So here I create suppose uh, a one folder for creating a route. I say send info send info and I say here the page.js now I say R A F C E and we have the data here and I remove the react here I want to create a link and I want to use a route for that I say h4 and I say route to route information example like this now I create a link here I am creating a link manually but you can use array or some other form by using map function you can create multiple link together. I will explain the same in my next videos but here I am just explaining the fundamental concepts of sending a data or send linking a routes from the routes. So here I say one component I use I say link like this and in this link component uh, I close it like this and middle of this I say suppose I say send info one for example and here I say here open link open link first open link one okay and I say here href equal to and here I get the route and I say read info send info and read info so this link I will open when I click on this open link one. So I have to create one more route. So I create one folder again and I say that would be read info. Then under this read info we have same page.js. Again I write R A F C E and we have the code. Remember that right now this component is server side. So I explain here how to read information at server side so i am creating a first of all server side component then i will change it to client side also so in server side component first of all i am just opening it on a link so i say h4 and i say this is for reading information by link component like this you see now what i do I have to make the linking of these two in my navigation also. So I open navigation page and here uh, I need to add these two also. So I copy this and I paste it. How to make navigation I have explained in my previous videos also you can watch there. So here I say send info and for that I say send info like this. One more I create like this and I say here read info and here I say read info like this. I save this, I close it and you will see some changes in my 
वेबसाइट सो रीड इन्फो इफ आई क्लिक हेयर सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस दिस इज द रीड इन्फो इंफॉर्मेशन बाई लिंक कंपोनेंट डायरेक्टली आई एम ओपनिंग दिस बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू ओपन डायरेक्टली आई हैव टू गो टू सेंड इन्फो and you see in send info we have a one link open link one if i click here then i directly go to read info remember that send info and if i click on this link then i go to read info this is the way to link to component so in this ppt i write here how to open route from route in next js and what is link component so link component we use to open another routes within a route and how to do this i have explain you here that you have to uh, create like this link component under this we have a href like we have in anchor tag of html we are passing here route read info and this is the link we click on this and it will reach to the this route remember two questions has been completed one what is the link component i explain you that it's a next js component to replace anchor tag of html in place of a tag we use a link tag in next js similarly now how to uh, open route so like in anchor tag we use page to open here we have the component server side or client side routes we have to open so we click on this link component text and it will reach to another route now second thing is how to pass data from route to route now you see that this is the one way to use this link component so again i am just creating a copy of this and same information i want to send to this and here i, I am say, saying that uh, send info send info link 1 or you can create any link whatever you want and here in place of this i want to send some data also with this url i want to send some data also so how we can send data that i am going to explain for that i create like this boxes and object in this object i say path name and in this path name i have to write this path so i just cut this from here and i paste here so this is my path so i want to uh, open this link when i click on send info one and then what data i want to pass so i say query under this query i need to use again object and here i give the name so i say uh, message msg and here i give the message that this is pass data to route like this i create it remember send info and this information will goes to read this page read info page remember so right now if i open so i have a two link so i just uh, mix separate line also so we have a link here so i put here uh, the div tag i say dev tag and under this dev tag i create this link like this again i create a dev tag here and i create a dev tag here also save this so it will come automatically in next line so if i say open link you see same link is opening no problem then if i click on send info you see same link is opening but here you see data is going you see with this we have a data remember that if i say open link that means no url you see no url parameter is there no parameter attached with this url but if i say send info now you see the query msg parameter is going with this url remember that now how to read this at server side or client side so we are sending this information from this route remember to this read info but right now it is not reading but we have to read so here it is uh, server side component so here i have to reach uh, search param search params this parameter we have to read and i need to check here that here uh, that search param dot msg if it is there then we have to display it so i say search param dot msg we can display otherwise we say null remember if this message is there then we can display message otherwise we say null so we are checking the condition if message is passed then we display message otherwise we can leave it so you see that if i click open link then there's no 
information is display but if i say send info you see this is pass data to route this message is coming because this message attached here so it is clear that how to send data from one route to another route and how to read that data at server side component remember that at server side component we have to use this search param parameter but if we want to run this component at client side remember that if i want to read client side so for that suppose i say here use client you see that i say use client that means this component will execute at client side also but i don't want to use to fetch this information at server side i want to use or fetch this information at client side now if we, if we see that the information i refresh it and you see that i click on send info that this information is still coming why because it is when rendering on server side but i don't want to render this information at server side i want to render this information at client side only then we have use search param for that so i have to remove it from here now i say here that const and i say msg uh, i say search param first of all search param equal to and i say use search param from navigation like this because we are executing at client side so like this we have to use uh, then uh, here i need uh, to fetch i say search param dot get and the message the parameter under this is msg so i search if this message is there then we have to display it so like this we have to use so there is some modification for using at client side so we have to use search param use search param hook and by using this hook we create this object and we find this message is available if it is available then display otherwise not so if i go there and i refresh it and you see once again if i send it now you see this information will fetch at client side remember that this information will be fetch at client side because i am not using now any server side parameter i am using hook and you know that hook is always run in react environment at client side so with the help of this hook i am using this if i remove it now suppose i remove i may comment it and i just run this and once again i try to open this and you see in, we have a error why because we are using this hook and hooks cannot run at server side they have to work on client side so it is must that we have to put this here so we have to use at client side then it will okay so i refresh it now you see i click here and we have the same information remember that so this hook cannot be used at server side but it use on client side so i explain you how to use or how to read this data from route to route at client side or server side so in this video we learn what is link component how to open route from route in next years how to pass data from route to route how to read data at server side component and how to read data at client side component also so i try to give you a practical example and a very very simple example to understand the concept of this now you can implement this concept in any logic which you want to implement if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video